lineup, I don't think he ever comes off the field. I mean, he I'm plays defense, sure he, he plays kicks, he, you name it. And he's got it teed up at the 40, and he boots it, and it's a, a kick that's going to go out of bounds, strangely enough. Uh, and the, the Indians are going to have the ball at the 35-yard line. Now, you don't see Mark Krause boot a, a kickoff out of bounds like that very often. Um, he's usually pretty, pretty generous pretty on accurate, the spot yeah. with that kicking toe, so he puts on the other shoe, and he'll have to sit out probably first down, um, and then he'll come back out to play his defensive position. We'll set the offense for the Indians as they take over first and 10 from their own 35-yard line. And here they come. <laughs> Single set to the wide side. Unger on the wing. Myers and Martinez behind Emmons. Option right, Emmons has the football, cuts it up, got running room to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, into Patriot territory. Got about a 17-yard gain for a first down on the first play of the game. A nice-looking play. Good hard run and some good downfield blocking there, Rich. Great play. Coach Evans uh, caught us by surprise on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the offensive line for the Indians, number 57, Seth Wise at center, number 53, Joe Amos, and number 58, Tony Hansen at guards, number 67, Kyle Borton, and number 72, Tim Burkholder at the tackles. We'll set the rest of that offense right after this next play. Again, <coughs> double tight end set with a wing right. Here comes motion. We got a flag. Somebody moved. It had to be on... I don't they, know whether they either, I don't know whether they jumped into the neutral zone or whether uh, we drew them. Well, I, I could, if you'd have thrown the flag sooner, dead ball encroachment yeah. against the Patriots. I was gonna say, I'd, I, if you'd have thrown it a little sooner, I thought it was the guy <laughs> jumping down there on the end, but I didn't catch any other movement down there from no. them. The tight end is number <coughs> 85, Elliot Mueller. The split end, number nine, Zach Garrow. The uh, wing back, number 21, Jake Unger. The quarterback, number four, Aaron Emmons. The running backs, number 44, Brad Myers. And number one, Raymond Martinez. And we'll set the Patriot defense for you shortly. Come the Indians again. Unger wing left, double tight end set. Split backs behind Emmons. Handoff goes to Myers. He's hit right at the line of scrimmage. Twists forward for maybe a yard. Tom Bush, number 12, on the stop from his left defensive end position. The Patriots run a 5-2, basic 5-2, number 25, Victor Lopez. At middle guard, the tackles, number 75, Billy Vance, and number 72, Justin Lederer. The ends, number 14, Clint Krager, and number 12, Tom Bush. The linebackers, number 6, Drew Kuzel, and number 59, Elliot Smith. In the secondary, number 7, Mark Kraus, number 2, Brad Leonard, number 13, Ben George, and number 33, Josh Strube. Here come the Indians on second down and four. Handoff again to Myers, looking for running room, cuts it up, get a little bit, he's close, he's past the first down, down to the 35-yard line. Boy, the last few games, it's been great to watch Brad Myers run. He's been running real hard. Uh, he's fought those ankle injuries all season long, but uh, the last couple games, couple, three games, uh, he's been able to stay healthy, and he's running hard. Finally got him healthy. That'll put the ball at the Patriot 35-yard line, first and 10 for the Indians. 10-24 left to go in the first quarter. We just started action here. Looked like it came back with the same play that they stuffed. Wanted to prove to themselves they could run it, apparently. Double tight end set, wing left. Handoff going to straight up the middle to Myers, and he gets it down inside the 35 to about the 30, just inside the 32-yard line, the way it looks. Linebacker Elliott Smith on the stop. Gain of about three, call it second down and seven. Some good deception out there by Aaron Emmons. You couldn't figure out who had the football right off the bat. <coughs> Dana Demoline trotting off the field. He was at, in the backfield on that last play, and Robert Shirey checks in. Dana Demoline had a high ankle sprain from last week, so it's good to see him back out there running. So it's Shirey and Myers in the backfield. Nope. Now what do we got? Timeout. We got a timeout. I think. Called by the Indians? Yep. yep. Timeout, Wasion. So they take their first timeout of the half with nine and a half minutes left to go. Henry offense off the field. And so far, so good. Hope I didn't speak too soon. I was just going to say, bite your tongue. Let them run. Here comes that. Emmons is going to cut it up. He's going to be met and hit hard. He drives forward down inside the 30 to about the 28-yard line. 
Looks like they're going to spot it just outside the 27-yard line. Or About just inside the 27. Picked up a good four, almost five yards there. Looks like it's going to be third and two from there. you got to figure four down territory when you're inside the 30, don't you, Rich? Well, Jake Unger's got a strong leg. Yeah. But, <laughs> but no I no Not that no wind. Yeah. I mean, there is no wind tonight. The, the flag is is lying idle at that. Here comes Martinez. Martinez, got running he's room. outside. He's outside. Oh, and he's brought down at Mark about Krause. the 11-yard line by Mark Krause. And if there had been a man out there with lesser speed, Martinez would have been in the end zone. He Mark, had a hold of his jersey and wouldn't let go. Mark and, uh, Krause with a touchdown saving tackle. Oof. That's going to set up. Looks like it's going to be first and goal, Rich. They've got the ball actually right inside the 10. The 10. I think. Yes, yeah. so. so it's going to be first and goal, Indians, with 8.42 left to go in the first quarter. Like you got a little good, good little counter, got just inside that defensive end. Garrow and Unger both split to the far side, split backs again behind Aaron Emmons. Emmons on the quarterback draw, and he busts it down inside the seven to about the six. I think they're going to mark it. He'll pick up four. He's got that little pirouette move he uses yep. out there, and. Uh, it's a pretty it, clever play. It's been play. effective the last few weeks. Yes, it has. He we is, saw him use it over at Evergreen. It is marked at the six, so it will be second and goal from there. <clears throat> it's kind of a deceptive play. You know, you, you figured somebody's got that football, and all of a sudden he turns around and runs with it. He, he disguises it well. He ran that last week against Archibald and got us down there for that go-ahead touchdown. They jumped again. No flag this time. Martinez, Martinez. off right tackle, powering down inside the five to about the three. Boy, I thought they jumped. Let's see where they mark him. It looks like right at about the three-yard line. So it'll be third and goal from the three. What do you think? Punch it in, or if you don't make it here, you kick it? Well, I'd almost... Uh, Take the points, or you just keep that, driving it? That little quarterback rollout and giving him the option to throw it or keep it. He had a little more, if he had a little more room to the right side, I'd almost uh, go with the pass to Mueller. Martinez is on the wing with Unger to the left, and the handoff goes to Myers, and he's going to be close but not in. Looks like he's down to the one or maybe the half-yard line. He's going to be at the one. Decision time. Fourth and one, and it looks like the kicking team is not coming on. I would say it could be your quarterback sneak. Yeah, he is. He's right. going to have confidence in his offensive line and go for it. And, and the then he's also going to have the confidence in his defense to hold him while the they're The Patriot down fans are on their feet. And here they come. Same formation as last time. Same formation. Fourth and goal from the one. Myers is in. in. Touchdown, Touchdown. Wasion. Over left guard, and with 6.21 left to go in the first quarter, Wasion jumps out to the early 6-0 lead. Now it looks to me like Mark Emmons is uh, talking to Aaron, and they may be going for two here. So Indians, you couldn't ask for a much better opening drive, Rich. You eat up half the quarter and put six points on the board. And now going for the two-point extra point. Unger and Martinez on a double wing to the right side. Emmons back to pass. He's got a man got open. Mueller. He's got Mueller. Oh, he's he batted it. down. Yep. Batted down by number, I believe it's 33. It's hard to read their numbers out here, but I believe it, it was number 33 on the coverage. Josh, Josh Strube. Strube. So with 6.21 left to go in the first quarter, Wasion 6. Patrick Henry, nothing. And now we'll turn it over to the Indians' defense to see what they can do with Zach George. Well, I'll tell you what, that was offense. a great drive. It was a full five minutes, 39 seconds, because uh, the kick went out of bounds. The Indians took over on their 35-yard line and just sort of methodically, I think there's only maybe one stop that uh, they stopped us on a running play and uh, came right back with the same play and got some positive yardage out of it. So a great drive by the uh, Indians offense. Back deep for the Patriots will be number one, Brian Yarnell. Number 12, 
Number 12 out there is uh, Tom Bush. And I believe Strube is the other deep back. Yeah. Yarnell's back at about his 10-yard line. Myers is going to be teeing it up for the Indians. Did he kick last week, Rich, or did uh, Dana it was, kick last uh, week? We had maybe four different kickers last week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wanted to confuse everybody. Oh, Listen we did. Me. Yeah. So I don't want to do it. You do it this time. Yep. No, let's see where the kick. They're going to squib it, and they are going to squib it, and it's bounced and 76. picked up by number 76. So Patrick Henry is going to start with great field position. Nate Long for Patrick Henry. They have the twin twins, Rich, two sets to the right, two sets to the left. And... Quick out to Yarnell, and he cuts it up. He's going to get about eight on first down. Tackled out there by uh, Brian Badenhop, the middle linebacker. Picks up about seven, almost eight. Yep. These defensive backs then slip somebody underneath. and Double set Indians to the far to side. On that. And a single set to the near side. Here comes motion. And it's a pitch back on a sweep, and they're going to get him. He is in trouble, and down he goes. Back at the 45-yard line on a big play out there by Huner. Drew Kuzel was the ball carrier. And uh, Huner, Mitch Huner out there, the sophomore, came in and made a great play, tackled for a, an eight-yard loss. It's back to the original line of scrimmage. Patrick Henry now facing a third and ten. And, Rich, Mark Krause is over here on the sideline limping. Oh, really? Yeah. It looks like he's got something wrong with his hip. I don't know. He's or, Yeah, he's not he's not played a down this series. That goes George. Nice-looking pass to a wide-open Yarnell. And he's juking and juking some more, and he's still juking. Boy, is he dangerous. And Aaron Emmons then picks him up and buries him, but not before he gets the ball down to the 32-yard line. That was a great pass by... Uh, uh, maybe in any division. They got the ball first down on the Indian 33-yard line. Handoff. Kuzel gets gets the ball down to about the 27-yard line. He's Stroob. Gonna, Stroob. Is that Stroob? I'm sorry. Yeah, he's going to pick up a good seven on that play. We'll call it six. Second down and four. Just a straight-ahead blast that time. But well, they're trying to stretch Mark Krause out down there. I don't know whether Paul can get a shot of him that down yeah, there on the sidelines. There, that left side, or it just you know, he Something he was tightened up. yeah, he was down Had there to be looking. while he was on defense. Because I was looking at at the offense and I thought, you know, he hasn't played it down yet, and he's, you know, one of their biggest weapons, obviously. So here, here come the Indians. Now we got a timeout. Who? Patrick Henry. Ph. Patrick Henry. Bill Enselman saw something he didn't like. So he calls his first timeout. And with uh, 3.53 left to go in the first quarter, the Patriots facing a second down and six at the Indian 27-yard line. Indians leading 6 nothing. If you're just joining us, Wasion won the toss, elected to receive, took their opening drive 65 yards for a score, with Myers come going in on a fourth and one from the one-yard line to put the Indians on top. The two-point extra point conversion was batted down by the Patriots. And that's how we stand at 6 nothing right now. He's, uh, I, I, he'll probably get back in and play some, but he's, he is a little stiff. Looking through my pile of papers here for our INTV sports sponsors. And I think I might have given my last sheet to... The crew last week. Last week's crew. And here come the Patriots. Indians looking to uh, put a stop right here to this drive. Again, keep in mind, Mark Krause is their field goal kicker, and he does have a great leg. <clears throat> Motion. And the inside handoff. Oh, it's fumbled. fumbled. Picked up. Boy, oh, boy, that ball was, he was belted. At the line of scrimmage, the ball was kicked backwards. Zach, Zach Bonner George. had the football. He got belted at the line of scrimmage and fumbled it backwards, and quarterback Zach George fell on it. So for the second straight series, the uh, the Patriots go backwards on second down to create a, a third and long. We're going to call it third and eight. The ball is now at the 31-yard line. 
So the Indians need to hold here. If you remember last time, he hit a beautiful play to uh, Yarnell. Yarnell. He's back to pass. He's got Yarnell over the middle. He's got a man to the sidelines, and he overthrew him. Just a little bit too tall out there, intended for Derek Kuzel. Drew. Drew Kuzel, sorry. And that's going to bring up fourth down and eight. And Mark Krause comes out onto the field, and they are going to go for it. Although I think Krause he's is also the punter. He's also their punter, but George is on the field. So they are going to go for it on fourth and eight from the Indian 30. But we, they just gained a half a yard, Rich. How'd that happen? <laughs> on an incomplete pass. So it's the ball is spotted just outside the 30 on a fourth and eight. Kraus is in the ball game. Back to pass is George on a deep drop, deep drop, fires over the middle. Too tall, too tall for Mark Kraus. And he's down, Rich. I, he's, he's not feeling well. Yep. He's not feeling well at all. He, he tried to stretch out for that ball, and he got hit and landed on that left side. But Train, trainer's working on Kraus again on the yeah, back sidelines. So we have a single split to each side. The pirouette Emmons on the little pirouette, and they didn't fool him that time. They didn't fool him at all. Number 14, Clint Krieger in on the stop for a loss of about five. Indians up six to nothing. I formation this time behind Aaron Emmons. Martinez has the football. He's got running room. He spins. Oh, oh nice tackle. almost spun out as a great tackle by number number Brian Yarnell. Brian number Yarnell. One. Came because he was gone. Up. If he missed him, That's he right. was gone. If if Yarnell doesn't make that tackle, it's six more points. But Raymond gets about four back. It'll be third down and nine. And oh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Well, let's see what kind of a special play the Indians have rolled up here. Split backs behind Aaron Emmons. Unger on the wing left. Double tight end set. See if the Patriots are coming. They are. They got a blitz. Emmons has the football. He's got a man open downfield, and it's going to be. Oh, oh! Batted around and falls incomplete at the 30-yard line of Patrick Henry. Zach was trying to fend off the uh, defender, used his back to try and slow him down a little bit, and he sort of slid by him, and then they both went up for the football and well, almost what, intercepted. Aaron but, threw a nice-looking ball that yep. time. That was very well thrown. He had it on the money. Yep. We talked about that if he keeps that adrenaline in check, his passes are perfect, and it looks like he's got it there. So the Indians are going to line up in punt formation. Martinez back there to do the punting. Yarnell and Drew Kuzel back for the Patriots. The kick is a high, spiraling kick aimed toward the near sideline. It's going to hit and roll back this way and go out, go, be down at about the 42-yard line of Patrick Henry, where the Patriots will once again have good field position and take over first and 10. And Mark Krause is going back out onto the field. They're going to mark it at the 43. So first and 10, Patrick Henry from there. There is one minute and 33 seconds left to go in the first quarter with the Indians leading six to nothing. Each team has taken one timeout so far this half. With Krause. Strube behind George. George straight drop. Firing long for Krause. And it is batted that away. Is Zach nice play by Zach Garrell. Garrell with a tall order, and he came up huge on that play. This so. time, double splits to the near side. Krause in single coverage, motion, pitch, and they're going to pitch it Watch back. Reverse. And they got Krause out here on reverse. Now he's going to throw, throw it. it. He's got Yarnell open. He's got Yarnell open. How about that? Down to the 22-yard line on a... Double reverse pass. <laughs> well, you know what? If you can't do it conventionally, you pull out the bag of tricks. If the defense is stopping it, our normal stuff, let's try one yep, more thing. That's exactly right. First and 10 on the 22-yard line. A gimmick play that works. And we've seen that before out of Coach Unselman. He'll, he'll run anything in the playbook, and sometimes he'll draw them up in the sand. Boom. Boom. Hit right off the bat and dropped at the line of scrimmage is Strube. Burkholder on the stop. Tim Burkholder on the big time hit out there. Let's set that Indian defense for you at middle guard. Timmy Burkholder, number 72. 
at the tackle, 67, Kyle Borton, number 70, Juan Villanueva. At the ends, number 31, Robert Shirey, and number 51, Justin Holgrave. The linebackers, number 21, Jake Unger, number 54, Brian Badenhop, number 4, Aaron Emmons. In the secondary, number 1, Ray Martinez, number 25, Dana Demoline, and number 9, Zach Garrow. And Huner's out there we in, got the, Mitch in the nickel Huner package. Now. Yeah, instead of uh, a down lineman, they got Motion Huner. Motion again, handoff this time, and he's going to get stopped again. Nice play out there Huner. by Huner. He has twice snuffed out that play. Boy, what a good-looking sophomore he is. No gain on that play. Third down and 10. But Actually, it may have been a slight been loss a slight on the loss. play. Yeah. Ball is spotted now back at the 22-yard line. <laughs> so the Patriots. I think that's going to be the last play of the quarter. Patriots facing a third and ten, and that is going to be the end of the two one. Bam! So the Indians win the first quarter, six to nothing is our score. Wasion in the lead at Patrick Henry High School. Indian defense uh, coming up has big. been burnt on the trick play mm -hmm. and uh, one pass play, but other than that, they've been holding their own. Yes, they have. They played very, very well out there. I want to thank, want to thank Don's Automotive Group, the Wasion Homecoming Committee, Wasion Athletic Boosters, the Music Boosters, um, St. Casper's Catholic Church, Wasion Machine and Manufacturing for uh, sponsoring INTV Sports this season. Uh, without their financial support, uh, we couldn't bring this to you, uh, viewers. So uh, stop out. Say thanks to him. We Shake ask you, Father yeah. Bob's hand. <laughs> <laughs> we ask you please to patronize these businesses and <coughs> tell them thank you very much for their kind sponsorship of our telecasts. So we're going to start the second quarter with the Patriots on a third down and 10 from the Wasion 22-yard line. Double splits to the far side. Yeah, now they lost yardage in the... Down marker was on the outside of the ten of the chain. Now it's back a half a yard inside. So yeah, who go figure? Yeah, well, that's something moved. George, yeah, somebody moved because everybody in the Indians team just stopped. Thank goodness, because Brad <laughs> Leonard was wide open over the middle. So let's see what we have here. We have a dead ball, encroach. Encroachment Offs of the neutral zone. Offside of the neutral zone. Encroachment yeah. of the neutral zone. Somebody had to have lined up offsides on the offense. Has to. Must have been one of the wideouts lined up offsides. It's going to cost the Patriots five. And uh, they are now looking at a third down and 15. And that moves the ball back to the 27 yard line. Kraus and Kuzel split to the near side. Yarnell split to the far side. Official timeout here. Yeah. Bill Enselman is saying, how could we be in the neutral zone? I think he's getting, or is the clock? He wants the clocks reset because we hadn't moved. They hadn't run right. a play, so right. it had to set it back to 12. <laughs> and that's <clears throat> what happened. So here we go again to start the second quarter. George back to pass, looking over the middle. Bat oh, it's going to be a touchdown. Yarnell slant. Yarnell beat Martinez on the slant. The pass just eluded the outstretched arm of Aaron Emmons, who had dropped back into coverage, and that's a touchdown. I and think, I guess we I learned think, you can't cover Yarnell one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I think uh, Martinez was just playing center field out there, and he got around Emmons and uh, made his slant, and there was no chance. Chuck, Chuck. Boy, you threw that ball nice. So Kraus is putting on the shoe to attempt the extra point. Now they got 25 seconds to get the playoff, and yeah. I've already heard him blow the whistle. So, And Yarnell's going to hold it. He doesn't have the tee. He's got to throw his shoe off. This is going to get tough. Well, is it gonna, if, if it is a, a penalty, there's the five second. Did he lift his? Yep, he lifted his hand. All right, there they got the snap down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So Patrick Henry on the first play of the second quarter goes 30 I'm sorry, 27 yards on a pass play to uh, number two, Leonard. Or I'm sorry, number one, one Yarnell. Yarnell. And they take the lead 7-6 at the start of the second quarter. And just like that, the quick strike capability of the Patriots shows its ugly head. Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, the, the, I don't know whether there was a mix-up in coverage or whether, because uh, Ray, Ray had lined up out there one-on-one -on, -one on Yarnell, and I don't know whether he was thinking he was going to get help to the inside or what, Rich, but uh, Yarnell beat him on the slant, and there was nobody back there. There was no, there was no safety playing in the middle. That's where our home field would get instant replay. We could see what exactly happened, mm -hmm. but uh, on the road, we don't get to get, bring all that equipment. Right. And Is it, you, isn't that lucky how Haas and, that is, and Mark nice. Ellenwood, Steve Haas and yeah, Mark they, Ellenwood get to watch the replays? They, yeah, they get the benefit of that. So the Patriots are going to tee it up. Martinez and Unger will be back deep for they will be back deep for the Indians. Let's see if the Patriots pull Gary, out. Gary Cole is going to kick off. Let's see if they pull the out another. Uh, <coughs> And they do try to kick it deep. It's fielded by an up man. Hang on to it. And that is Shirey, and he powers across the 40 to the 42 or 43. Good hands out there catching that. Yep, tackled out there by number 20, Brent, Brent Hammer. And the Indians will have great field position for their first possession here of the second quarter. They now trail this ball game 7-6. to six. And let's see if they can eat up some more clock and punch another one in. Well, I'll tell you what, Rich, we talked about it on the way over here how uh, Yarnell is just a splinter of a guy at 5'8 and 153 pounds, and, and, and that's with his full pads on, I think. But, boy, is he quick. Here comes the pitch to Myers. Myers. He's looking for running room. Student body Cuts right. it up. He's got some running room. He's batting inside the 50, but we got a flag on the play. you got to believe that's a holding at that location. So instead of a gain of about 9, it's going to be first down and about 15. Hold the yep. Indians. Oh, you hate to wipe out a nine-yard gain on first down. Well, it's a spot foul, so <laughs> right. where he threw the flag, he still picked up some. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be marked back to about the 33-yard line, so it's going to bring up about a second down and 14. 30, 37. Or, I'm sorry, 37. So it's <coughs> about sec, for, I, I'm sorry, first down and 14 from there. 11.41 left to go in the second quarter. Patrick Henry leading 7-6. Garrow split left. Unger wing right split backs behind Aaron Emmons. Inside. Inside reverse to Unger. Unger. Trying to bounce out. Not going to get there. Too many people stringing that play out. And number six, yeah. Drew Kuzel gets in there and makes the stop. He usually was going to go out around the end, but uh, 14, Clint Krager jumped in there and stopped him from right away, and he sort of juked it back inside, then tried to go back out and gave that defense time to catch him from behind. So the ball is spotted. I guess they're two they're negative another, plays yeah, here. Yeah. Another loss on the play. It's, boy, it's a long one now. It's about second down and 17. So what you want to do here if you're the Indians is not try to pick it all up in one play. You know, you got a couple here to try to pick this yardage up. Motion. Myers. Myers stopped at the line of scrimmage. And, boy, you know, you give them a lead, Rich, and all of a sudden Tom Bush on the stop. Yeah. Um, you give them a lead, and all of a sudden they they smell blood already, and we're only in the second quarter. That's going to bring up third down and 17. Well, that, that holding penalty, we had that nine-yard pickup, yep. that holding penalty – cost us so far on this drive. And that really did. It took away some good momentum there. Yep. So here come the Indians on a third and 17 from their own 35 yard line. Garrow out here. You gotta believe the Patriots will be coming. And they are. Emmons is out here though. He's got some running room. He's got he him better open. throw it. He's got, oh, he's, that's gonna get picked. <laughs> you can't throw it out there. Yarnell's gonna get it. And Unger's going to pull him down at about the 20, still fighting forward, gets to the 25-yard line. With Unger got a hold of him, uh, one of the Garrow down there should have tried to strip the ball. Aaron had all kinds of time to throw, and he fired it out there, but uh, Yarnell was in too good a position to take that. So the Patriots take over from their own, just across their own 25-yard line. Well, it's almost as good as a punt. As a punt. It was, mm -hmm. it was quite a... It was he threw the ball. 10, 20, 30, 40. It it's the equivalent of a 45-yard punt. Mm -hmm. 
So the Patriots uh, see what they can do with their second possession here of the first quarter. Ray Martinez again in single coverage on Yarnell out there. And here comes the pitch. Stroob. Stroob looking. Huner. Eh, got him. Nope. Before Huner could get him. Aaron Emmons. Aaron Emmons got him. <clears throat> He's going to pick up about four on the play, though. He'll get it out near the 30. Just shy of the 30. Gain of four, second down and six. They don't run it very often, Rich. Uh, I would imagine they probably average 45, 50 throws a game. Double splits to the near side. Krause is going to split to the far side. Still looks like he's running a little gingerly out yeah, there. Yeah, he's, he's not at complete full strength, that's for sure. Of course, he could be giving us that Jim Brown yeah. Yeah. limp oh, leg. Oh, I'm hurting. And then bang. Watch Yarnell on that inside move. Now we have delay a game. Flag thrown by the back judge back here. That can only mean one thing. <laughs> Delay. Delay of game. Might be a five-yard walk-off. Going to make it second down and 11. Patriots rather uncharacteristically being penalized on offense tonight. They're usually pretty smooth. Just again, they're, they're a lot like the 93 Indian team. It really didn't matter if they got penalized. They just get it on the next get play it on anyhow. The next play anyway. <laughs> yeah. Second and 11. George dropping back, firing deep to Yarnell, or Kraus. Kraus. And Kraus had it. And he, he did was, he drop it? He dropped it. He dropped it. He was trying to hold off Raymond with one with arm, one and, arm catch it with the other. and catch it with the, his <laughs> free hand. Uh, and uh, just didn't get it yeah. done. Well, I tell you what. I don't know why the official, though, didn't call an offensive pass interference because he was holding Raymond back with his uh, left with and, his off and arm was trying to, yeah. trying to get it with the right. That'll bring, up, that'll bring up third and 11. And if the Indians stop them here, you got to believe they will get the ball back on a punt. But we'll see. you got to stop them here. Double splits near side. Kraus split far side. They usually like to go to him on single coverage. There's He's throwing deep to the sideline here. And turn around. Oh, he caught it. He dropped it. Fall on it. Oh, he no. called it incomplete. No, he called it. The brown oh, the no. Fumble. Said oh, down no, that's, on contact. That's got to be either incomplete or a fumble. Oh, the Patriots getting a huge break on this call. A huge break Coach on Emmons this call. coming out. He calls Oh, yeah, out. he's all the way out on the field, and he should be. This is a huge break on this call. A huge break for the Patriots. The ball is going to be spotted at the 44-yard line of Wasion. And the ball that's either got to be a fumble or an incomplete pass. They're not going to over I don't think he's going to get it overruled, but it was not a complete pass. So on third and 11, a, an incomplete pass is called a complete pass. And Wasion or Patrick Henry dodges a bullet, and Wasion is going to have to buckle up the boots and get tougher. Well, you know what, Rich? They're human, and as we saw in the baseball playoffs this year, officials can screw it up too. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry to say this on television, but folks, you just saw a screwed up call. And here come the Patriots with their new life on first down at the 44-yard line. Give credit to Yarnell for one heck of an effort. Well, it was a good a, pass. Good yeah, pass. He, uh, I think Unger was on coverage and uh, didn't turn quick enough. But uh, maybe he did, and that caused the, him to drop the football. But they gave it to him. Straight ahead, Strew Not getting anywhere. I think Patrick Henry's going to... That gonna, fired him up. Yeah, Patrick Henry's going to figure out they're not going to run the ball. They're, they're going to have to launch it, but they launch it as good they as any, it anybody. Well. They launch it as good as anybody in the state of Ohio. No gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10 from the 44-yard line. Kraus split to the near side. Yarnell and Kuzel to the far side. Strew behind George in the backfield. Quick quick drop, quick pass out here to Leonard, and he's got it again to about the 36-yard line. That's going to make it about third down and three from there. 
And again, with this Patrick Henry team, four that's, down territory. yeah, they're in four down territory for them. We're just at this point, Rich, getting absolutely no pressure on Zach George. He is throwing the ball when he wants to. We're not mm -hmm. making him throw early at all. Pitch. Strube. Strube. Running room. He's got the first down. <laughs> he picked up about four. That's about their maximum gain on the ground so far tonight is four yards. And uh, but, but that was enough for the first down on that play. So the ball will be spotted at the 32. First down, Patrick Henry. 7.50 left to go in the half. Patrick Henry with a 7-6 lead. Changing the play at the line. Checked out of it. Yep. Handoff. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage. A nice tackle in there by Huner. He's been playing pretty good. Yes, he has. Drew Kuzel was the ball carrier. <coughs> he picked up about three, we'll give him. It'll be second down and seven. It's the first time we've seen Zach Bonner out there carrying the play in. He will line up in the backfield. They're gonna, that's the first time we've seen a, a two halfback set out of them yeah. tonight. George. Oh, there's a back. hold. <laughs> Fires it out. He's got a man wide open, and that's a touchdown. Leonard was wide open, and uh, that's a touchdown. And Rich, all of a sudden, Patrick Henry is making it look easy. With 6.53 left to go in the half, they come out now with a 13-6 lead, and Krause is going to attempt the kick to make it 14-6. Once again, George could have read the Northwest signal back there. And uh, Well, they had the two backs back there to even give him some extra coverage. They mm -hmm. both blocked. But there was a hold out there, I saw. Well, you, you're not going to get that call. No, over no, here. you're not going to get the call. You're not going to get that call over here. It isn't going to happen. I mean, it, it was evident from that, that dropped, <laughs> dropped pass that was called complete that we're not, the Indians are not going to get a call tonight. So you're just going to have to play through it and be tough. The kick is down. Block. And blocked. Wasion comes through and blocks it. Aaron Emmons. From his linebacking spot, comes in and knocks down the kick. Keeps the game within a seven-point reach at 13-6. to six. So the Patriots are going to kick it off, and the Indians will get it back with 6.53 left to go in the half. Well, we need, a, we need that long sustained drive, drive, sustained drive, like we had the first time we had the football. Uh, play error-free. We got that holding penalty on that nine-yard pickup on the first time we ran it. The last series, as we you just can, have to stay out of that. Right. As you can see, the the Patriots have the ability to overcome their penalties. Uh, with they just got so many weapons out there and a quick strike capability. But uh, you know, I was watching pregame warmups, Rich, and they had three quarterbacks out there, and every one of them was throwing perfect spirals about 55 yards. I, they must just grow them down here in Southern Henry County. <laughs> I mean, they really. Well, they, when your coach is an ex quarterback, is they it? just must have. They must grow them and groom them and breed them down here because they, they have three kids on this roster that can throw perfect passes, and it really is impressive. Kraus back out there. Yeah, he is. To kick off must again. Feeling, must have put a little green rub on that left side to keep it, keep it loose. And he's going to kick it. Martinez and Unger are going to be deep, and we're waiting on the officials again. Or are we? Yeah, the main official sitting down there. I don't know what he's... Where is he? He's over here on the, just in off the 30-yard line mic, marker. <laughs> Trying to get maybe who scored or whatever. I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. I think we're ready now. Maybe he's right. Somebody got a yellow card maybe. <laughs> oh, no, that's soccer. Card. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got a detention. Here come the, <clears throat> here come the Indians. Let's see what we can do with this return. Again, Martinez is deep. Kraus this time kicks a squibber again off the right side of his foot, it's and that's going to go out of bounds. So Mark having a little bit of trouble with his kickoffs tonight. The ball is brought back to the 35-yard line. Wasion will have it first and 10. Well, we started from there before, so... Yeah. 
See what happens. Maybe it's an omen, huh, Rich? Yep. Again, if you're just joining us, Wasion scored on their first possession of the game, a 65-yard drive. Patrick Henry on a couple of big pass plays. What a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> have scored two touchdowns and have a 13-6 lead. Here comes Martinez. He's caught in the backfield. Yep. And he's down to the 30. He's got it back to about the 32. He'll lose on the play. And Rich, all of it, if you notice, the Patrick Henry defense, every man is within three, line, three yards of the line of scrimmage. Well, as soon as the ball snapped, they Tom, also... Tom Bush, who was on that stop, made the initial hit. Second down You're and 13. You're seeing them scoot across about two, three <laughs> yards deep before they start looking for the ball. They're just trying to get deep penetration. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look, every, every one of them, except for number two, is within three yards of the ball. Emmons on the rollout, looking he's for running it. room. He's outside. He's got a block out there. He's inside Patriot territory and down to about the 42-yard line. Big play. Good block out there by uh, Brad Myers to get him that corner also. So the Indians in Patriot territory at about the 44-yard line. Oh, where are they going to mark it? Well, it? Apparently he went out of bounds back at the 47-yard line. Well, I didn't see anybody hit him until he was, I thought, well, he, close to the 40. He must have stepped out of bounds, Rich. It's the only thing I can say. Here come the Indians. Double tight end set. Unger on the wing to the, to the near side here. Split backs behind Emmons. 6.02 left to go in the half. Straight ahead. Straight ahead to Myers. And he's got the ball down inside the 45 to the 44-yard line. He'll pick up Drew Kuzel on the stop. He'll pick up about four. Let's see where they mark him. Nope, they're going to give him three. About just course, to the, almost to the 43. Yeah, that yard line marker over there. I, he always marks the back half of the ball, I think, when, when we've got when the When we ball. have it, yeah. <laughs> so, second down and seven, we'll call it. Motion. Hand off to Unger. Looking for running room. Gets, cuts, it. cuts it up and gets it oh, down. He oh, did, no! His leg did not go down. He, his knee was oh, not on the ground, and this my. official called it. That's our, that's our buddy with the, uh, with the pass call, too. Somebody give him a pair of uh, glasses at halftime. Or maybe find out who offered to buy him dinner after the game. That's gonna, he's going to get... A yard, we're going to call it third and six from the 42-yard line. There's 4.51 left to go in the half. And I notice we have a new center out there, Rich. Seth Wise isn't out there playing. Number 78 is, is out there. Is Rodriguez. Justin Rodriguez. Yes. Martinez, Martinez looking for running room. Boy, running he's close. hard. He's close, but I don't think he's going to get it. And if we let this guy on this end mark the ball, it's going to be back at the 40. So let's see <laughs> where we end up. It's going to be about a yard shy, maybe a half a yard shy. If I was Coach Emmons, I'd ask, just, for, a, I'd ask for a measurement. i just go. Don't even worry. Just go. Because if you give them the ball back, it ain't going to matter if you give the ball back at the 20 or the 40. They're, they're just as dangerous from anywhere on the field. Fourth and one, 4.06 to go. He's First gonna have, half. He's going to call timeout here, I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he's going to call timeout. Let the clock run down and call timeout. <laughs> That's so our Indian, last timeout. Indians take a timeout with 3.59 left to go in the half. They trail 13-6. They have the ball just inside the 37-yard line of Patrick Henry with fourth and about half a yard to get a first down. It's a huge play. you got to know that the uh, Patriots are going to be bunching that line of scrimmage. Well, we scored on a, with our <laughs> two backs leading the way with Myers. We'll see if they set in that formation, but if we caught up on that one, maybe maybe their yeah. pH defense yeah. coaches yeah, you might gotta, too. You got to figure that. Uh, you know what I want to see? I want to see by the end of this ball game. I want to see those television cameras in our huddle. That's right, because that would mean we we're won. doing very very yes. well. Why did they move the ball to the center of the field? That's a good question. If 
Finley's beating Napoleon 10 to nothing. Fourth down, half a yard. Ball on the Patriot 37 yard line. Emmons barking out signals. Martinez, Martinez has got the first down, and he's loose. He's in the backfield. He could go. He's gone. 10, 5, touchdown, Wasiad. 38-yard Raymond run. Martinez with a 38-yard touchdown run with 3.50 left to go in the half. Wasiad within a point. Boy, just what the doctor ordered. Well. Are we going to try to kick it, or are we going to go for two? It looks two? like they're going for two. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, what did they, uh, again, I, I was out of town last week and missed the game. Rich, I think so they're going to kick. I are they going to kick it? They kick got it. the T out there. Got Jake Unger. It just, it, Jake's has a little trouble getting like a little cramp in the top of his thigh, <laughs> his right leg, and uh, must be it's loosened up a little bit, and we're going to try for that. Extra point try. Out of the hole to Martinez. Snap is down, the kick is up, and it is good. good. Wasion ties it with 3.50 to go in the half, 13-13. And they answer the Patriots score. Gonna be fun. Whew. Gonna be fun. <sighs> Great fourth down call. He handed back to Ray Martinez, got some blocking. Got sort of slowed down at the line, shook a tackler, mm -hmm. and, uh, and used he, that speed to yeah, outrun. He, he had uh, he had a defender out there. I think it was. I wanted to say 20, wasn't it, or something no, like that? I, I, th I thought it was Zach Bonner. I thought it was number eight. I might have been wrong, but I thought I saw eight out there, and I thought, you know, that's the first time we've seen him on defense. And I think he was uh, replacing Mark Kraus. And if you recall... In the first quarter, Raymond had a, one that would have been a touchdown, except Kraus was fast enough to just nab him by the shoulder pads and pull him down. And this time, the defender back was there it, wasn't was, quick enough, yeah. <laughs> and Ray, Ray ran right around him. So That may have been when Kraus got injured, when he tackled be. him down there on the 10. He's down here still kind of bending over. He's <coughs> trying very hard to keep everything loose. It's a, one tremendous athlete. Brad Myers to try the kickoff this time <laughs> for the Indians. We, see if we can get it a little further than 10 yards down. <clears throat> and he kicks it on a, on a puffer. It's going to hit and dribble around. It's going to be fielded down there at 12. about the 25-yard line. And he's going to be met and dropped at about the 35. Tom Bush. Yep. Bush, who's a defensive end, one of the up backs on the uh, kickoff team, carries it out to the 36-yard line they're going to give it. It looked like Baden Hop and... Um, Justin Hograve on the stop. Here's what's happening. You see this 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 coach over here for Patrick Henry. Every time that official comes off the field, he's talking. That coach to is in his ear. Every and he walks five yards out onto the field to be in his ear. Double sets, both sides split out. So the twin twins, as you Rich think calls them. Throw it. Yeah. Do I? I think they're going to throw it about 95 times today. Ooh. Passes, Raymond. Passes that would have been down just a little yep. bit. He was making that move. George overthrew his intended receiver, number two, Brad Leonard, and Raymond was in the neighborhood, and had he picked that baby off, it would have been nothing but green. <coughs> 339. Second down and 10 from the 36. Clock stops on the incomplete pass. Krause split to the far side. Yarnell split to the near side. Zach Garrow on him. Raymond Martinez on Kraus, single coverage both sides. You got to know that he's loving this. George is loving this, and he's throwing it out there for Kraus. And did he catch it? He yep. did catch it. Raymond looked like he Look, had pretty he good coverage. He's trying to like dive over the top to knock it down. He let him get outside of him and uh, tried to make it up with some speed. Coming well, he back did to it. bat it down, yeah, but he, just missed it. What he did, Rich, was he, he made a move to the inside that Raymond bit on, and then he turned it to the outside, and he was open. And uh, as as usual, Zach George just put it in there perfectly. Roughing the passer. Oh, no. Oh, uh, roughing the passer? Didn't see that flag That's, It's back way there. back here by the 30 by the 28-yard line. So tack yardage onto that play. It'll put it down if it's at the 40. It should get down to about the 25. Roughing the passer, decline. They're going to take the, the play. Huh? They're going to take the play. 
I didn't. I guess it's a it's a choice. You either take the play or you take the penalty. It's not tacked on. Well, see, that's what Jack Jack George is saying. Wait a minute, isn't it tacked on? He's going to stand. The referee saying, "Nope, sorry, son." Coach said to decline and I, it. And the and the clock. Now, now we. Got, oh wait, wait a minute. Our man oh, on the our side man on the sideline. Yeah, line. our man on the sideline over here. He's going to talk him into this. Wait a minute. It's got to be. We got to tag it on. Trust me, this assistant coach over here is telling me we got to tack it on. 3.31 left to go in the half, and the officials are going to debate it. I always thought a personal foul was always tacked on. You know, I, I don't know, Rich. I, uh, certainly, I've never been an official. Well, they're probably, they can always dig out. They always carry down their rule book down on the sidelines. I think the, I think that's what they're talking about, and I mean they were going to run that play until the official from the near sideline, of course, with the Patrick Henry assistant coach firmly entrenched in his ear, stopped play. Well, the official hasn't even gone back and picked, picked up, up his, his paint. No, his, he got dirty laundry on the field back here, and they hadn't moved it yet. Now I think they're going to move the football after we've had a discussion. Now Mark Emmons is saying, "Wait a minute, you waved it off." Yeah, you waved it. You waved they off, they declined, they declined the penalty, and now you're going to mark off a declined penalty. So now that we, gotta, we have a discussion going on with, with Coach Enselman, we're going <laughs> to, I don't think either coach is going to be happy with this when we're done. Now he's going to pick up his flag. I mean, I, you and I, you, yeah, you and I both thought it was tacked on. So. Yeah. <coughs> If you're just joining us, there's 3.31 left to go in the half at Patrick Henry High School. The score, the Indians 13, the Patriots 13. The Patriots have the ball for the moment now, at the 39-yard line of Wasion with a first and 10, and the officials are debating on whether or not a roughing the passer call, which occurred on the completed pass play, is going to be tacked on or declined. You know, one of the other things he could be looking at is if they decline it, do they get a chance then to change their mind? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good call because they, they did indicate that they wanted to decline the penalty. Right, so here we go. The, well, they haven't moved the football yet, Rich. And now the referee's coming over to give an explanation to Bill Enselman. We got, we got some Patrick Henry uh, yeah, well, people you, up you here. Hate, you know what? You, you hate to have. I mean, we've already seen we've already seen bad. questionable calls against both teams here, and you hate to have in a game of, of this magnitude. magnitude yeah. yeah, you hate to have the officials having a have a negative effect on the game either way. And it's. Uh, I mean, we've you know we've had a couple of calls go against Wasi on the night. This one I think is going to go against Patrick Henry, and you just hate to see that happen. And they're still talking about it. We might be able to go down and get, you know, pizza. <laughs> Come back. They might, they might be still talking about it. What do you think? <laughs> well, somebody's got to be getting tightened up. Yeah, Bill's not. Bill Lentzelman, I don't think, is happy. Now the officials are conferring again. We'll see. We'll see <clears throat> what's, what's going to happen here. Now the, now the lead official, the referee, is going out to midfield. And I, now they're going to talk to the other official. Now Mark Emmons is going to say, wait a minute, what's going on? Wow. Well, this game was moving pretty, pretty rapidly, but. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> We've been, uh, what, about almost 10 minutes? Yeah, I see Dana Dana Demoline back in the defensive backfield. They're testing to, that ankle. Yeah, testing that ankle. They've got him out there in the nickel package now. It's got to be that they declined it, and now they want to try and take it after they've said they declined it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
You see uh, Mark Krause still out there, you know, bending and twisting and, and trying to keep that, that back loosened up. Here we My go. Golly, they're, they're not, not going to move, move it. it. They're not going to move it. They're not going to move it. That's, uh, I don't know. They're, we, we probably need to get an explanation on that one, Rich, because I, it must have been because they initially declined it or something. I don't know. Here it comes first and ten pitch. There's a um, I think uh, number eight started into the line too soon, I believe. We'll see. We do have a flag on the play. And the call is, well, wait a minute, put the ball down where you had it. Dead ball. Boy, Illegal participation, yeah. was it? That's, somebody must, must not have been on the line right. It must have been what it was. That's he just, he wasn't, you know, they didn't have enough men on the line of well, scrimmage. But that's an illegal <laughs> procedure. That's not a illegal participation. Well, that's true. Or whatever it would be. That ball is now going to be marked five yards back to the 44-yard line. It'll bring up first and 15. Again, 322. The clock should be rolling, and it's not. It, well, the clock was rolling. There was nine seconds rolled off the clock there. Yeah, the clock operator did not start the clock. So there's an extra 10 George, seconds. George, back to pass, throwing deep over the middle. Pick it off, buddy. No. He was in possession. Dana Demeline was back there in perfect position to pick that ball off. And uh, Drew Kuzel. Drew Kuzel just went up and got it, plain just, and simple. He, he waited for it to come to him instead of going to get it. And I think Dana, Kuzel, I think, Kuzel had it. Yeah, I think Dana thought, you know, I'm just going to sit back here and let this, this thing me. come to me. Yeah. And... Uh, Kuzel just ran over in front of him and caught the ball. Yeah. Great play. 15 down to just inside the 15 yard line. So Patrick Henry looking to try to punch in a go ahead score here with three minutes to go in the half. Boy, I tell you what, every one of these Patrick Henry receivers is fast and talented with tremendous hands. That's a touchdown. Got the corner, don't. Going to be knocked out of bounds. Yep. Touchdown. Gave it to him. Yep. Yeah, you, you could just see there wasn't anybody out there that was going to catch him. Who was it? That was number eight, Zach Bonner with the carry. And he's in, and this is becoming a Donnabrook. <laughs> 20 for Patrick Henry. Trying to tack on 21 here. 13 for Wasion. I'm sorry, 19 for Patrick Henry. <coughs> trying to tack on the 20, 20th point. They did have one extra point blocked. There's 255 <laughs> left to go in the half yet, Rich. Wasion could get this ball back. They scored in 55 seconds. Yeah, well, they, that's pretty much their capability. They they just have. I tell you what, they got time it. on the clock was 10. It was 55 seconds. Yeah, it, yeah. it took 12 minutes. Yeah. to play that 55 seconds. Here comes the attempted kick, is up and it is good, and that makes it a 20 to 13 ball game with 2:55 left to go in the half. And I tell you what, th what they've got, folks, uh, those of us viewing here uh, on INTV, what Patrick Henry has is a track team wearing football uniforms. <laughs> That's what they've got. They got some oh my Bambi-like receivers they out there. Are, they are, at, this is as much team speed as we've seen all year. And as they always <laughs> say, speed kills. And they just have a lot of young men that can run very, very fast. And, uh, and, the, and the, the strange part about it, Rich, is the fastest one of the bunch can't run very fast because he's, he's slowed by an injury. The All-State, probably going to be a first-team All-Stater. Well, you would think so. Mark Krause. I think he was last year. Yeah. So, uh, boy, they got, they got wheels. They just got a bunch of guys that just can flat-out fly. Well, the Indians scored <laughs> in 28 seconds last week, so... That's counting even the time that went off the clock on the kick. <laughs> 255 left to go in the half. Krause is going to tee it up from his 40. He's had some trouble with his kickoffs tonight. Let's see if he's what he can do with this one, which is odd, Rich, because his extra points have been dead on. Let's see what he does. He squib kicks it. It pops up in the air. I don't. I didn't see who got it. Oh, Huner. Mitch Huner. Tackled by the by Bonner, who suddenly has become the Heisman Trophy winner in high school football, doing everything. Gets it to about the 27. So the Indians will take over from there. And again, Rich, 
you got to at least, if nothing else, take time off the clock here. You do not want to give them the ball back this half because that spells trouble. The Patrick Henry offense, as well, we you can scored, see that. We you, scored via the run. Yeah, so. you, can, you can stuff them for four or five plays, and all of a sudden on one pass play, they'll cover a mess of yards. Myers. Myers gets the ball. He's met at the line of scrimmage by the left defensive end, Tom Bush, who drives him into the center of the line, and he's cleaned up by Victor Lopez. He'll pick up a couple. It'll be second down and eight. Clock running, 2.33 left to go in the first half. <laughs> the Patrick Henry fans even now restless yelling get the ball back I think they're used to being up by four touchdowns by halftime handoff goes to Martinez, Martinez. looking for running room they Punches got a hold out. of him that time he'll pick up maybe four on the play it'll bring up probably about third and five or third and four well, Steve Haas would be happy tonight because Ray Martinez does have his jersey tucked in. Okay. <laughs> They're not grabbing him from his jersey from the shirt tail. Mm -hmm. That does, in fact, bring up a third and five. Big play here. Oh, yeah, it is a big play because if they don't get it, they got to turn the ball back over to the Patriots. And as we can see, Rich, they can score with very little time left on the clock. Martinez, Martinez on looking this for side. running room. He isn't going to get there. He's, he's stopped shy, and right away the Patrick Henry Patriots call timeout. So they're going to get the football back, and they're going to have great field position. And this tail end of this second quarter here could not have gone any better for the Patrick Henry Patriots. It is crucial, ladies and gentlemen, that the Indians do not let them in the end zone here before the half. Keep in mind, they get the ball to start the second half, Rich. PH does, yes. yes. they do. So to let them in the end zone here and then give them the ball back at the start of the second half could be disaster. <coughs> See what the Indians come up with. Fourth down, they did gain about a yard on that play. It'll bring up a fourth and four. The ball is spotted at about the 38-and-a-half yard line. or I'm sorry, 33-and-a-half yard line. A good punt. Patrick Henry's still going to have it at about their own 30-35. <laughs> Yarnell will drop back. Got a young sophomore out there for Patrick Henry, number 11, Denton Saunders. His job is to make sure Ray punts the football. I talked to his dad, Rod. <laughs> so that's his job. Everybody else can come back and block. He's supposed to make sure Raymond punts the football. So Martinez is, in fact, in punt formation. There's the snap. He does kick it. It's, and it takes a great Wasion bounce, but I'll tell you what, 39. it's still, still going to be 39-yard line. Excellent field position for the Patriots. And, what? Rich, only, only... For the attempt at the element of surprise, is Patrick Henry going to run this football? Zach George is going to fade back, and he's going to chuck it. Well, I, the Indians, you know, in their defense, have come close a couple times of mm -hmm. picking them off. So that's not an impossibility. Why? Although Mr. Mr. George hasn't thrown only but one interception this year. He's back to pass, looking out here to the to the right. He's he's got. He's trying to get out of bounds, and he, he, didn't. And he didn't. The clock is still running. The pass is caught and completed to Zach Bonner, and he didn't get out of bounds. Clock is running, 106. Ball is spotted at the gain of about eight on the play. It'll be second and two. Boy, he had two receivers in the same vicinity, and he just took the far outer receiver. He's back to pass again. Five-step drop. Fires it out here for oop, incomplete. Ball intended for Kuzel. That'll stop the clock with 51 seconds left to go in the half. But it'll make it third and two. Almost has to go for <laughs> the first down. So he could conceivably run this one. Yeah. Does he have a timeout left, Rich? Well, I don't know when they had all the discussion on the... Because the ball yeah, he had did. been... He kept it. Yeah, Zach he George did. kept he, it. He got the first down. 
But the clock is good. Well, the clock will stop long enough to change the chains. It's the 40. chains aren't going to move very fast. No. 45 ticks on this clock. You can see them moving very slowly. <laughs> and the Patriots are at the line of scrimmage. It is first and 10. The ball is at the Wasion 49. The clock is running with 40 seconds left to go in the half. George back. Short drop. Fires a Yarnell. long near sideline. Oh. oh. Well, what can you say? They just, Rich, they, they just are superb receivers. The ball was thrown to Yarnell. Garrell went up with him. Yarnell came down with the ball, kept his feet. He's in the end zone. It's 26-13. And, folks, we are seeing a well-oiled offensive machine for Patrick Henry. You know, we, we were in. Zach Garrow was in position there. He was. He just uh, could not outfight him for the football. And yeah, you got to give credit there to the receiver. He just and, and they've been doing it all night. The receivers have just gone and gotten the football. I I think we're playing the receiver and then don't look up to find the football right away and and they're just having it come right down to them. And. George has thrown his fourth touchdown pass of the first half. We have a flag on the play. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that call was again. I think it's going to be delay. Yeah, delay a game. That will move the ball back to the approximately the 15-yard line. So it will be what amounts to a 25-yard field goal on the extra point attempt. But uh, with Mark Krause's leg, that's not going to matter. Although he has struggled with his kickoffs. <laughs> shanking a few of them. Twenty-six, thirteen. The Patriots have now doubled up the Indians, and the kick is up, and it's good by about oh thirty yards. He nailed that one. Yep. So with three or thirty-four seconds left in the half, it is twenty-seven, thirteen. Patrick Henry. And it's basically been Zach George with a five-step drop, throwing it deep and completing it for touchdowns. And you got to give him credit. He's not been, uh, I, you know, Rich, you said he, he hasn't been uh, intercepted, but once all year. I'm wondering how many times he's actually been sacked. Yeah, because he takes, he takes a four-step drop and then just heaves it. Yep. And his receivers are tremendous, and they just go get the football. He throws to the spot, and those receivers get to that spot. He may have one of those nights tonight, uh, you know, where they, they do the, uh, the Buckeye uh, roundtable on Mondays, and they, they nominate the Wendy's High School Players of the Week kind of thing. He's already has, he already has four touchdown passes and got to have 250 well, how many he yards with, of passing. How many did he get last week? I don't know, but he, I mean, he's going to have, like, He's going to have 27 touchdown passes just broke Heaver's uh, season. Right? Yeah, he's going to have 20. He's going to have seven or eight touchdown passes tonight if he keeps it up at this rate. Well, I think the Indian defense are going to stiffen up here, hopefully in the second half. <laughs> There's another squib kick fielded and downed that one to the stop other. the clock. Give his off. That was a good play. 81. Yeah. Osborne. Osborne made a good play, Justin. He, he Dustin, got that yeah. ball, fell on it, and, you know, to stop that clock and give his offense a chance to do something with it. Well, first and 10 on our 36. Remember, it's 32 ticks left on the halftime clock. And the worst thing that could have happened for Wasion did. They did let him in there right before the end yep. of the half. And uh, now Patrick Henry with a two touchdown lead and will get the ball to start the second half. Emmons back deep. He's throwing it long, looking for Martinez. And covered out there nicely by number two, Leonard. Raymond trying to get a flag, yeah. but <laughs> that wasn't going to work. Wasn't going to work. Not with, no. not with that official. Yeah. 26 seconds left on the clock. You know, you may want to try one more play like that and then just kneel down. You could... You give them the ball back with 10 seconds left on the clock, it's dangerous. Split backs. Unger split right. Garrow split to the near side. Hand off to Myers. Myers. 
Got running room, looking. <laughs> Tackled out there after a gain of about four by number 12, the left defensive end. And that's uh, Tom Bush, and he's had himself a heck of a night so far. He's uh, he's 5'11 and 176 pounds and a sophomore. So he's Indian's going to try to get to the line and run one more play. we got three, three seconds. Three, two, one, and they got, got it, off. it off. No, they didn't. Somebody moved because there's a flag on the play. Now we can, I suppose the Indians can hope it's a defensive penalty because the half can't end on the defensive penalty. Well, here we go. Now we're going to debate again. <laughs> we're going to debate again. Dead ball, illegal False procedure start. against the Indians, but that will give them the opportunity to run a play. I think they have to decline the penalty, right. then it would not. Right, well, it's a dead ball. Right, so it's, it, a dead, it's a dead ball foul, so they do have the. So it's got to be an untimed down. Right. It's going to be an untimed down. Now what? Now we're debating again. Now we're debating again, and Patrick Henry's just running off the field. That ain't right. They're just running off the field. On any penalty, I, I don't think it has to be a defensive penalty. I know, but Mark I'm not Coach, sure. Coach Emmons is not happy, and of course, Bill Unselman just started running to the locker room, and his team followed him, and the officials said, okay, let's go get the football. Anyhow, we are at half. Well, this, With the Patriots leading, these guys have no I, they have no they're clue. They're still debating. They have no clue. Yeah, the Indians are trailing 27-13 to the home team Patrick Henry Patriots. We are at halftime. We will be back after the halftime festivities. Now we're back. We're back at halftime at Patrick Henry High School. The Patriots leading the Indians 27-13. Got about a minute and a half left before the kickoff of the second half, and Rich was able to uh, score some stats for us. Well, for uh, the Indians, rushing, we have uh, 22, 25 attempts for 71, 141 yards. Not bad. Leading rusher, 7 for 70 yards for Ray Martinez, 10 for 50 for Brad Myers. Um, rushing for... Patrick Henry, there are 11 attempts, 23 yards, uh, but their passing stats are uh, pretty good. <laughs> Zach George is 10 of 16 for 238 yards, three TDs. Mark Krause, if you recall, is mm -hmm. one for one for 35 yards on that double reverse pass. Um, so they have a combined 273 yards passing uh, and 23 yards rushing. Uh, Indians... Uh, no yards passing, uh, 141 yards rushing on 25 attempts. I caught the official before he left, completely left the field and asked him what was the call out there. He said he looked it up in his book. That's what took so long. And the way he read it, the roughing the passer is you come back to the spot where the play started and tack on the 15, which would have been short of where the pass went. Okay. That's why he ruled, or the, okay. they declined the penalty. Okay. But everybody says that's wrong. So, <laughs> well, he, he we said thought he it looked it up been, in the rule book. That's what right? he said. Okay. He looked it up in the rule book. So, okay. Well, we are going to kick it off. The Indians to the Patriots. Brad Myers has got it teed up at the 40. And Yarnell is the deep back for the Patriots. And, of course, uh, as we've seen all night, we have not attempted to kick it to him, and they have not attempted to kick, kick it to Ray Martinez. So both teams staying away from the deep men. Squib kick, and guess Gets who picks it, it up? <laughs> and he's open, and they got him by the shirt tail. Emmons gets him by the – was that Emmons? Emmons or Myers? Nope, Myers. Myers. Grabs him by the shirt tail. Thank goodness, or that would have been disaster. 
Boy, is he quick. The ball is going to be spotted at the 42-yard line. It'll be first and 10. And, and you know what, Rich? I don't think Patrick Henry has started a drive inside of their 35-yard line all night, have they? I they have had tremendous field can't position. Can't recall it. They've had tremendous well, maybe, field position Well, maybe the one night. time. Two backs in the backfield this time. George back to pass, looking for the up and out. Oh, he's got him. And he's the out of bounds. Ray Martinez was in position to pick that off, and he slipped and fell down, Rich. Zach he, Bonner. He slipped and fell down. Bonner came out of the backfield, went down, out, and down. And Ray slipped and fell down. But uh, good, pat, beautiful pass again. Zach George just puts the ball right on the numbers when these guys are running full stride. They just He throws it oh way ahead of where they're yeah, you haven't cut. you haven't seen a receiver have to stop and go back for a ball, anything like that. He's just been dead on all night long. That brings up a first down. The ball is now spotted at the twenty eight yard line of Wasion. So they pick up a quick thirty yards just like that. George with a deeper drop this time throws it over the middle. Caught by uh, Kuzel. Kuzel. And he is nailed immediately out there, but it is a pickup of about nine on the play. It'll be second down and one from just outside the 20 yard line. And just like that, Rich, in two plays, Patrick Henry is knocking on the red zone. Well, we talked about it earlier this week that Patrick Henry, once they get their lead, they take people out of their game plans. And uh, so. Indians need to get a stop here so they can Met and dropped to some of their running game. Strube. Well, Strube was met and dropped right at the line. Who are they picking up there? By Borton. Uh, Borton. And I'll tell you what, they, they haven't gotten, they haven't generated an ounce of, uh, you know, crick water on the running game. But um, when you can throw the ball like they do, you don't need to generate an ounce of <laughs> Of uh, Crick Water. Well, they run it, I think, one every five plays just to give the receivers a little breath. A breather, yeah. yeah. So, on a third down and one, he's back to pass. Deep drop. In a corner. Touchdown. Yep, touchdown. He's been the big receiver. Martinez got beat deep. And Patrick Henry is up 33-13. And, folks... The Patriots have put the track shoes on. And if the Indians don't look out, this is going to become a blowout in a hurry. That Once again, an absolutely perfectly thrown football. They need to box up the, the game tape of this and send it to every college in Ohio. So Mark Krause will attempt the extra point kick to make it 34-13. Take the Patriots out to the 21-point lead, which is about comfortable point margin for them all season long. If you're just, be delay. If you're just joining us, this is, this was a close game, folks, uh, for most of the first half. Well, the Indians were were ahead six to nothing, then uh, tied at 13, seven to six with 11:24 to go in the 54 to go in the second. Then they tacked on another touchdown. Make it 13 to six with the 6:53 mark, but the Indians came back on a 38-yard run to tie it up at 13. Then there were two quick scores. Patriots have done exactly what they needed to do, and exactly what the Indians and the kick is up and good, and that will push the score out to 34-13 with 10:09 left to go in the third quarter. And the Patriots, the, the two things they needed to do or score right before the end of the half and score with their first possession of the second half, and that's exactly, exactly what, what they've, they've done. done. So they have taken a very close ball game and blown it open here now with a three touchdown lead, and we just started the second half. And I can guarantee you one thing, this could be a five or six touchdown game, and uh, Coach Bill Enselman will still have his first team boys out there playing. I can guarantee you that. Well, yeah. I guess you can say that's not right, but uh, he's also going up against a strong defensive team, and he's got playoffs coming up. So mm -hmm. uh, I think he wants to work on some things too, probably. So the Indians need an offense here now. They've, they've got to generate something. 
put a score on the board and slow down the momentum of the Patriots. You got to give credit. And These the, the kids have they played hard. They <coughs> fought hard out here. They've run into a, uh, a, a a quarterback that is absolutely on fire tonight. Yep. And that's that's you know that's hard to beat when you got a quarterback that just everything he's doing is going right. Huner. Huner, and he's got it out across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Ryan Huner that time. Yep. Tackled out there by number 44, Cole Reese. So the Indians will have their first possession of the second half on the 33-yard line. And, Rich, the, uh, the Tribe needs to put a score on the board right here. They've got to get it in the end zone. If they do, they're right back in this thing. There are only two scores down with most of the, of the third and quarter and all of the fourth quarter left so a score right here is paramount for the Indians <laughs> double tight end set handoff Martinez running room across the 35 out to about the 38 yard line I think Kuzel is it six Kuzel and 59 pickup of about six on the play second down and four Elliot Smith <laughs> Good looking play that time. We'll take more of that right down the field. <coughs> if you're just joining us, um, the center, Seth Wise, and we still don't have a report on him, Rich, was carted off the field. They they had him early, in the neck brace. Early in the in the first half, so we really don't know what happened. Fumble. Emmons fumbles the ball, it's kicked and forward, and I think Patrick Henry's got the ball. Well, you just mentioned that his center isn't there. No, well, Wasion comes out with it. Yep. Good. Whew. That was close. Tony Hansen get it? Yeah, number uh, yeah, Tony Hansen. Yep, number 58 Tony Hansen. Well, I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how he come away with it cuz But he did. Thank goodness. It looked like there was a red jersey on it. Yep. Third down, bring up third and four. So big big play for the Indians here. They need four. <clears throat> Garrow split wide to the right. Double tight ends. Garrow on the or, um Unger on the wing left. Split backs. Oh, they were in the neutral zone. No flag. Emmons. He ran right in. <laughs> yeah. He was blocked and he ran right into the guy that had blocked, gotten blocked and Clint Crager. Yeah, no, no, that was uh yeah, yeah, that was Clint Crager on the stop. That brings up a fourth and four. I'm still mystified there wasn't a there wasn't a flag thrown. Rich they, the left uh Defensive tackle for the Patriots jumped into that neutral zone and then just stood there. He, I mean, it is like he knew he was busted and he didn't even try to get back, and there was no flag. Um, but no call is no call, and the Indians now have to punt it away. Martinez deep in punt formation. See where he kicks it. He kicks it high, lazy spiral. Fair catch called for and made by uh, Drew Cruzel. Ball is spotted at the 32-yard line, and that's the worst field position of the night, I think, for the Patriots. And they will have the ball, their second possession of the second half, leading already by 21. 7.51 left to go in the third quarter. <coughs> so the Indians need a stop. Well, it's a good check had a, time. We've had a great group of seniors all year. The senior leadership, mm -hmm. uh, they're down 21. Gut check time. That's exactly right. And it is. These kids have shown that they can do it. Let's see what happens. Now, pitch. Strube. Strube. Nothing. Baden hop. Yep. Baden hop on the stop. The play was strung out real well out there by uh, by the right side of that def defense out there. Unger was out there. Borton was out there. They strung the play out. Didn't give Strube anywhere to run. Batenhop was able to track him down from behind from that middle linebacker slot. No gain on the play. Makes it second down and 10. And uh, Rich, they just, they really don't do much on Gonna the ground. Double, doubling up Kraus here. What they need to do Got is come and right up on him on the line of scrimmage and chuck him. Motion. Straight drop. Pass out here. Open again. Bang. Knocked down, he's going to have the first down. Pick Brad up of about 13 yards. Leonard with the catch. They rolled uh, Kraus down the field and brought Leonard in up underneath him. And he was open. You got to love it. We were talking about this, Rich. You can watch this Patrick Henry offense for 
about three quarters out of the four quarters of a game and never see the same play twice. <laughs> yeah. And they really do. They run a diverse offense. It is first and 10 from the 44-yard line. Indians need a, a stop or a turnover here. Sells the ball back. Get one in the end zone. George with not, not even a one-step drop. Yarnell. He hits Yarnell. Yarnell is loose. And Martinez is going to have to run him down, and he does at about the 11-yard line. Wow. He, he's got to have 300 yards receiving himself tonight. <laughs> well, he had a 169 to the end of the first half. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, having two touchdowns. He's so. having himself a heck of a night. On a night when, when Mark Krause has been slowed somewhat by double coverage and somewhat by an injury, Mr. Yarnell is having himself a <laughs> monster of an evening. That'll be first down. Ball is spotted at about the 11. Handoff. Cuts it up. There's the first big running play of the night. I think it got a hold. And there is a flag on the play. That was uh, number six, Drew Kuzel on the carry. And the Patriots are, in fact, walking backwards. Holding. Patrick, yep. that would explain the big hole. So you could, ran, you could have ran through that I, hole. I, I think I could have. I wouldn't have done it quite as fast as he did, but I could have run through that hole. <laughs> they are they are a, a team with a lot of team speed. And, you know, the Indians do not have a slow team, which no, is no. a may. I mean, they've got a lot of speed back there with Unger and Martinez and Demoline and Garrow. And, you know, they, they've got some boys that can run in that secondary. It's just... Uh, now we have a timeout. Official. Equipment? Or? I don't know what it was. No? Nope. Okay. That's It's first down. It's actually first and t just about 20. Ball is back on the 19-yard line. George on the quarterback. He, he kind of fed it into, quarterback draw into Strube there. and then pulled it out and followed Strube through the <laughs> hole. He and it picked, wasn't a hole. <laughs> yeah. He picked up about five on the play. It'll be... It'll be second and either 14 or 15, depending on which way you look at it. Ball is spotted at the 16-yard line. There is 550 left to go in the third quarter. Patrick Henry with a three-touchdown lead. Double coverage on Kraus. Yarnell is single covered. Throws it out to Kraus, and it's incomplete. Let him a little bit too much. It'll bring up a third down and 15. I think he wanted uh, pass interference because he was out there checking, and he got he thought he got the pass up while they were still checking Kraus, but uh, the officials didn't see it that way. <coughs> oh boy, Yarnell all by himself over there in single coverage. Zach Garrow, no, here nope, comes. Now they're going to double him up. They're doubling up Kraus and <coughs> Oop, and he's up. Oh boy, he's got a man open over there. <laughs> Look at Baden Hop. Strube was wide open. He caught the pass. He was knocked out out of bounds at about, looks like about the four-yard line, maybe the three-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down, but it'll be fourth and about two, I'm, looks like. Yeah, it's... Yep, fourth and about two. So the Patriots need two yards for a first down and about uh, three yards for the touchdown. Fourth down. This is a big play, Rich. The Indians can hold here. 5.28 left to go in the third quarter. <laughs> Double coverage. Double both. Yep. Pitch. Outside to Strube. Did he get Touchdown. in? He got in. Strube is in the end zone. He gets in with 5.23 left, making it 40 to 13. Well, that's her second touchdown on the ground tonight. So they made a good mix this time of uh, the pass and the run. Yeah, they really, they really are uh, an offensive uh, machine. I, uh, you know, I don't know. We we don't follow the Patriots, obviously, but uh, I I don't know if there are games when Zach George struggles with the. 
28 touchdown passes on the year. Delay. I would guess that that's probably not the case, that he yeah. struggles very often. But he is on fire tonight. And that's going to bring up another delay of game. And it, it, again, keep in mind, folks, that that really doesn't, doesn't matter here. Mark Krause takes his time putting on that kicking shoe because five yards to him on an extra point really is inconsequential. They probably practice from there. <laughs> they probably do, yeah. They Because I think this is either the third or fourth time tonight they've taken a delay of game on the on the extra point. Well, the Indians blocked it once. And Ooh. the kick is up, and it is going to be good. So with uh, 5.23 left to go in the third quarter, it is Patrick Henry 41, Wasion 13. And again, Rich, as you said, they, the Wasion Indians have a talented group of seniors with a lot of heart. And well, with 3.50 to go to come in, back. in the second quarter, the game... <laughs> Indians tied it up 13-13, and, um, you know, we thought, well, this is going to be a ball game, and then mm -hmm. PH scored in 55 seconds well, it, it, and I, then scored with 34 seconds yeah. to go in the half. I think, Again. Rich, it, it, when, it was, when it was still a seven-point game and Patrick Henry had the ball and, you, and we were talking about how, you know, the, the Indians couldn't let him into the end zone right before the end of the half, and, and that, I think was the big the key score right there because if it would have remained a seven point game would have been a little different story so the Indians looking desperately now to get something started offensively and as you said Rich with, when you're behind this far then all of a sudden you tend to go away from your game plan you you uh, you know are attempting to score points quickly yep and you do things you wouldn't ordinarily do And these, this uh, very talented and tough Wasion defense has they got met deep. by far its its toughest challenge of the year. Heuner across the 30 to about the 31, 32 perhaps. And Wasion will take over first and 10 from there. It hasn't been very many teams that have scored <coughs> and looked this sharp offensively against the Indians' defense this year. The defense has played tremendous football for the most part all year long. Even in the losses to Napoleon and Liberty, they played very well. Here comes Aaron Emmons with the play. Okay, Coach Badorf, what are, you, what are we gonna run here? Well, I'd almost open up with uh, giving Aaron the, pa the pass run option here. It is the inside reverse Unger. to Unger. And he gets tripped up yep. trying to get over the top of Tim Burkholder. Who was blocking the rather large uh, Keith Kuzel, 6 feet, 325 pound junior out there. <laughs> he did pick up a couple. We'll make it second down and eight. Ball at the 34. Well, the Indians come into this with two losses. They lost a tough one to Napoleon, 20-6, to six, and then an awful tough one to Liberty Center, 14-6. to six. So, Oh, whoop, mix ball. up. Ball is loose. Uh, Patriots have the football, and that is the last thing that the Indians needed there. So the Indians fumble the ball, turn Brett it over Ham to the Brett Patriots. Hammer, picks it up. Hammer with the recovery. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ball is at the 37-yard line. Boy, oh boy. And if I'm guessing, knowing Bill Enselman as I do, this one's going deep. He's going to go. Go for the jugular? Yep, he's going to go for the kill right here. <laughs> Again, 37-yard line of Wasion. Patriots already with a 41-13 lead. Looking for more. He's dropped deep. He's throwing deep over the middle. Nobody back there but Demoline, oh. and he dropped the ball. He turned, he turned the wrong way. He turned way. the wrong way, yes. Dana Demoline had an interception. But, you know, just, just Mark Krause was in yep, the vicinity. He was. <laughs> I think um, had Mark been healthy there, I think he probably would have attempted to dive on that catch, Rich, but, but they did go deep. 
Second down and 10, ball at the 37-yard line. Two backs in the backfield this time. They hand it to Kuzel. Oh, he's met, hit hard out there by Huner. What a hit. Nice play. Mitch Huner hit him and hung on. Drew Kuzel looked like he had some running room, and the sophomore came up and nailed him, and there was a big hit. Gain of uh, five. five. Third down five from the just ball is spotted just inside the 32-yard line. Double backs in the backfield again. And this time, same play opposite side to Bonner, and he's running hard down inside the 10-yard line, and they'll, the, down to about the Patriots five. will have it first and goal. Every about the six. You know, every kid they every kid they throw out there seems like he's running about a 4-2, doesn't it? <laughs> he gets those legs a pumping. Oh. Zach Bonner did. Every everybody they throw out there can just flat out fly. Ball is it is first and goal, Rich, at about the six. That's where their passing attack helps the running. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they definitely pass it to set up the run. And they they finally gained some yardage on the ground here in this third quarter. And Kuzel is in. He's in from six yards out. And Patrick Henry now with what may be an insurmountable lead at 47-13. <laughs> They're up 34. And with Mark Krause trying to tack on the a lead, a, a point that would kick it out to a 35-point lead. And I'm not so sure there's enough time to score five touchdowns. Well, he's we did it in 28 seconds la yeah. last week, so. He's kicking it out of the hold of Yarnell. The kick is up, and the kick is no good. Wide, Wide right. right. That was a Super Bowl cry, wasn't it? Wide right? Wide right. Well, that's a, Was it the New York Giants? That's a Florida, that that's a Florida State that's right. crawl. Yeah, the Florida Wide right. Wide right. <laughs> So with 3.39 left to go in still the third quarter, the score, Patrick Henry 47, Wasion 13. <clears throat> well, Rich, you know, it's one of those games now where you got nothing to lose. No, Just the, pour they're out. down there. 34. Yep. <laughs> That's more than four scores. Yeah, if you go for just two points every time. Just shy of five touchdowns and five extra points. <clears throat> Mark Krause is going to tee it up at the 40. Deep before the Indians, Martina Senunger. We haven't seen Dana Demeline back there tonight on the return game. Due, of course, to the High ankle sprain that he suffered last. in last week's game. Yep. He's played some defense. Kraus kicked the it kick. deep the last time. And he kicks a line drive this time. Fielded, can't read the number just yet. And he's out over the 35 to the 37, maybe the 38-yard line. I want to say Mitch Huner, 30. Was it Mitch? Yep, it was Mitch. So the Indians, again, with decent field position. <coughs> um, their third possession here of the third well, quarter. We coughed it up the last time. We dodged a bullet, mm -hmm. fumbled it once. Tony Hansen got it back. But I don't know. Indians in the eye formation. Martinez the deep back. Myers the up back. Double tight ends. Carroll split wide right. Hand off to Martinez. Gets across the 40 to about the 41. Unless you're, of course, the line judge over here. Justin Letterer on the stop. He spots him. <laughs> the referee in the middle field didn't care where the side judge here spotted him. He put the just put the ball put down. Put the ball down. <laughs> Gain of three, second down and <laughs> seven. Uh, 
Same formation, except this time the split backs instead of the eye. And Emmons has got the football looking over the middle. Got Oh, oh yeah, Elliot Miller threw it just behind him, and Elliot couldn't pull it in. And that was the play. He hasn't that, missed very many this year. Yeah. Elliot hasn't. Uh, that was the play that I uh, was watching last night. They, they ran it when I was down watching the, the, the practice under the lights. That'll bring down, that'll bring up a third and seven. It's a short seven, but it's it's a seven. Clock now it stopped at 252 of the third quarter, and the Indians, Rich, they gotta pick this up. You cannot kick this ball back to this Patrick Henry team again. You gotta pick this up. Double tight end set. Unger wing left. Here comes the pressure. He's got, he's got a man again. open. He's got Mueller this time. Same play. Oh, ho, ho. and <laughs> I ain't going Elliot down. I, I, I don't Elliot care what you Mueller do. I'm not going down. I'm going to wrestle you. That, that may be the defining moment in that young man's football career because he just belted a, a secondary man. <laughs> he had a man around his legs, and he lowered his head and buried a defender. That was That's a big play for that, that big youngster, and hopefully that's going to be something he's going to be able to carry with him well into his football career here at Wauseon. Love to see that. It's a big pickup. They did do it. Myers got Myers. the football. Churning, churning, pushing. I don't know where he ended up. It looks like they're going to give him about a yard on the play. Number 59 out there. Elliot Smith, Elliot Smith on the tackle. Gain of one, second down, nine. Clock is at 2.10 of the third quarter and counting. Well, I tell you, it's tough for the Indians. They had to come in over here to the, the state's Division Five number one team in the polls. Mm -hmm. Played them even for almost a half. Yep. Unger. Unger on the sweep. Outside, churning to get up. Cuts it up a little. He'll pick up maybe three more. It should bring up about a third and six. Not getting any def or no pressure and blocking and cutting off those ends down there. And they're doing a good job fending off the blocks and stopping our sweeps. Yeah, and the, the ends are not very big. Uh, Tom Bush is 5'11", 176, a sophomore. And Clint Krieger is 6'1", 170. So neither one of them goes as high as 180 pounds. But uh, they play the game and they play it well. Now we have a timeout. Is this an official? It's an official timeout. We have trouble with the clock or what do we have? Helmet. Oh, helmet. helmet. All right. There's a, there's a minute 10 left to go in the third quarter. Wasion facing a third and seven from the 35-yard <coughs> line of Patrick Henry. Emmons has the football under oh, pressure, swarmed and under. he gets back to the line of scrimmage. And it was a good effort just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Pocket started collapsing early. Yes, it did. That'll bring up a fourth and seven. Aaron didn't get a chance to get turned around and look downfield. He just started scrambling for his life that time. So the Indians trailing 47-13 right at the end of the third quarter at the Patriot 35 yard line are trying to make it on a fourth and seven and you gotta believe the Patriots will be coming fires out there he's got a man did Garrell get I don't know if he got it well it's not as late as that official got up there no they're he gonna was, mark him well was, shy he was pushed back he I think he was I think he was almost past the marker when he got hit and got pushed back. So mm -hmm. Now the ball is going to be spotted at the 30, which means they credit him with about a five-yard pickup. But the Patriots take over, first and 10. Well, I was going to say that the Patriots, you know, won't be able to score in the third quarter, but they got 21 seconds, Mark. Yeah, and as I told you before, Rich, the first-team offense is still on the field. <clears throat> and that you can expect. First and ten. Here comes the handoff to Bonner. Eight. He's broken it open again. He's to the 50. He's to the 45. And he's thrown down out there this time by Ray Martinez. Ooh, Badenhop looks like he got up a little gimpy. Ball is spotted now at the 45-yard line of 
Wasian. So he keeps it on the ground. That will end the fourth quarter. The clock is climbing down off 11 seconds. The Patriots will not try to run a play. Ball will be spotted at Wasion's 45-yard line to stop the start the fourth quarter. It will be first and 10, Patrick Henry from there. And the third quarter ends with the score, Patrick Henry 47 and Wasion 13. What's the good well, I word? went over there to, to they're going to try and print me out some stats there because the Patriots had to run up some good yardage. Yarnell, oh again, you, like you said, he's got to be close to 300 yards. And the, the passing game now, Rich, has, has really opened up the running lanes for, yes. for Patrick Henry. So the, the offense is basically clicking on all cylinders. I always thought when you come to Patrick Henry, you come to the house of heat. It's not very warm yeah, over not here. Very, you know, although downstairs, it's not. They got it's heated well, down they got, there. they got something. Yeah, heat. it's heated down there. It's nice. It's a double level press box. So the number one Patrick Henry Patriots certainly showing here tonight why they are number one. I don't see Mark Krause out there, Rich. I, I see number 24 out there. That would be Kyle Brubaker, a 6'1", 168-pound junior. And it could be with the with the injury that, that um, Mark Krause's night is done. They do hand the ball off. Is that five, Zach no, Potcher? That was number six again. Is that that six? was Kuzel, and he Kuzel. runs the ball, picks it down inside the 45 to about the 43-yard line. He'll pick up a couple. It'll be third down, or second down, I'm sorry, and eight. Here come the Patriots. Double splits to the far side, single split to the near side. One back in the backfield. Strew back there, he gets the football. He powers straight ahead, keeps the legs churning. He's loose, 35, 30, block on the corner, 20, and knocked out of bounds down at the 20 yard line. Two guys had a hold of him and just couldn't hang on. He just <clears throat> kept those legs moving and uh, pulling and got out of the grasp of the Indian defenders. Good second and third effort. First and 10 on the Indian 20. So the Indians uh, staring down the barrel of a cannon right now. Come the Patriots, double, double backs, Kuzel and Strew behind George in the backfield. George, kind of a shovel pass. <laughs> he just kind of pitched it forward to uh, to Strube, and he carries the ball down to about the original line of scrimmage. Is there a flag? Is there a late, late hit on Raymond? or We'll see what happens here, but it is... <coughs> The ball is currently resting at the 20, which is the original line of scrimmage. We'll see what they, what the call is here. No signal yet. I think it's going to go against. Is it Martinez? We have unsportsmanlike. I don't know. They haven't he given. Started to yeah. do his flap. They haven't given a signal yet. Well, now they're going to talk to both captains. The way it looks, they got a player from Wasion, a player from Patrick Henry out there right now. Maybe they're going to call offsetting fouls, Rich, and just tell the players, you know, look, we got a whole fourth quarter to play. Let's not get stupid. <laughs> dead ball, unsportsmanlike Wasion. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike Patrick Henry. So the penalties will offset. They're going to mark them off? Well, you know, half, it's going to be wait, 10 yards, 10 yards here, half the distance, and then, and then 15, 15 yards back. Yeah, which is unfortunate for them. For them. For, for Patrick, yeah, Patrick Henry. <laughs> Patrick loses Henry five loses on five yards. <laughs> they lose five yards on the double walk-off. But that is correct. It would be a half the distance one way and 15 the other. 
why, why don't you mark Paul Johnson if Tina didn't? And our walk and PH go the other way. And they're all setting. Well. Uh, there, yeah, we're getting people saying, well, why don't they mark off Patrick Henry's first? It was probably Ray did something first, and then the guy retaliated. Could so be. That's, at any rate, the, that's the way you would determine who goes which way. They're going to spot it at the 25, and it's second and 15. And <laughs> Strube's got the football, and he's down to the 10. Garrell bumps him out of bounds. And he's got, I think he may have the first down picked up. <clears throat> <clears throat> he stepped right over the top of the defender. He went, gave it to him, and took it away. You know, he's, he's, uh, we haven't seen him get loose very much at all until here in the, here in the, in the third quarter, or, or the uh, second half. Yeah, the first half they had 23 got, yards rushing, and now they got 104 yards. Yeah, so they picked up 83 in the, or 81 yards in the uh, third quarter. And Straight they hand it off to him again, Stroop. and he's powering forward down Feel to the five. It'll be, the wave yep, it'll be first and goal from just inside the five-yard line. The whole, they didn't give him a first down on that last one. No, uh -uh. it's first and goal just inside the five. There's 10.51 left to go on the clock. And I can't imagine what else Bill Enselman needs to work on offensively, but we'll find out, I suppose, in the next series. Well, I... It's been uh, a while since he could do this against the Indians. And he's into the he's end in. zone. Strube is in from five yards out with the 10-29 left to go in the ball game. Patrick Henry now pushes out to a 53-13 lead. Strube ran hard on that one, too. And who's going to kick it? Number, looks like, we don't know who's got it. Well, yep, Mark Krause is going to run out there and kick the extra point. Going to try to make it 54 to 13. Oop, high snap, but it's placed down by the holder, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. So with 10.29 left to go in the game, Patrick Henry, 54, Wassey on 13. Rich, uh, you know, I can't remember seeing an offense like this since the 93 Wassey on Indian. Indians. Yeah. 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 This, is, this is about as close. Although the Indians of, of 93, they were uh, a lot of run and a lot of passing. Right. They were a lot more balanced in their attack yes. with uh, they didn't Milne, and, on the Milne and Langendurfer back there. And, of course, uh, you know, with the, with the wonderful talents of Corey Griggs back there at, at quarterback and, and uh, Gordy Fry, and they had just a lot of weapons. They could hurt you in a lot of different ways. So They're warming the, up T.J. Taylor. The Patriots. Like the junior. The Patriots are going to kick it off for the, oh boy, I can't count, ninth time tonight. Whoops, knocked over the chair. They will kick it off from the 40. Indians have 10 minutes and 29 seconds left on the game clock. Kick is fielded. I think by Shirey, and he gets it across the 35 to the 37 yard line where the Indians will have it, first and 10. <laughs> uh, Unger. Was that Unger? Yep. Okay. I couldn't tell if it was 31 or 21. The Jakester. You know, it's gotta be Tammy's fault because she went to Florida and didn't get these kids their Subway sandwiches today. Is that what it is? She, would, she jinxed us. Okay. <clears throat> So the Indians back on the field, I formation. Martinez the deep back, Myers the up back. Double splits to the far side. Martinez running room out over the middle, pounds it out to about the 45-yard line. He'll pick up eight or nine. You know, you think back early in the ball game, Mark. Mm -hmm. Mar Raymond broke loose and uh, could have had a touchdown but got stopped. Uh, we had a couple, three of those. And uh, it could have been an all 
altogether different complexion on this ball game if they could have mm -hmm. had that happen earlier. <clears throat> but the momentum went to the Patrick Henry Patriots, and once they got it, they yeah. went downhill. Yeah, they did. They, uh, as they said, they got that lead, and and they, uh, you know, they had a team down, and they buried them. Mm -hmm. Ball is carried by Raymond for about a yard gain, maybe two. We'll give him two. It'll be third down and about a half a yard there. So the Indians looking to pick up the I, might be their second first down of the second half. Well, we only we only picked up in the third quarter like um, 15 yards passing or rushing and Emmons the ball Emmons carrier he does have the first down ahead. gets it right about to midfield that'll stop the clock long enough to move the chains with 903 left to go in the ball game yeah we picked up 15 <laughs> yards rushing and 25 yards passing is all we picked up in the third quarter wow and in contrast the Patriots gained a boatload of yards and a boatload of points <clears throat> well they gained 208 yards 81 Rushing and 127 passing. In the third quarter. In the third quarter. Wow. Split backs behind Aaron Emmons. Martinez looking for running room. Not going to get any. there. Tom Bush on the stop. And you're right, Rich. These defensive ends just stay home. They do not make very many mistakes for the Patriots. Ball is spotted for about a half yard loss. It'll bring up second down and 11. Here come the Indians. Garrow split to the near side. Unger split to the far side. Emmons rolling. Tucks it up, looking for running room. Gets about a yard. We got a flag on the play. I don't know what that was. It was either a hold or a face mask. Yep, face we got mask. a face mask on the Patriots. Let's see if it's a five yarder or a big one. I didn't see whether he wrapped his. Probably, I think it's just a five. Yeah, it didn't look. He didn't make the personal foul signal, so it is a five-yard face mask penalty. So that'll help the situation. The ball will be marked at about the 44-yard line of Patrick Henry. Bring up a second down and about four from there. They need to get just across the 40 for the first down. <clears throat> Double tight end set. Unger on the wing right. Double split backs behind Aaron Emmons. Martinez with the ball, cuts it up, looking for running room, still goes forward, gets yeah, out. He's got the first Boy, he's going to be really gonna close. Be close. You see those plays, uh, Rich, where the, the uh, Indian running backs were, have been be able to get outside all year, have been turned up tonight by those excellent like defensive say, ends. They, those defensive ends on the snap, they penetrate about two yards. Oh, wow, what a Ooh. spot. Lost a half a yard. Oh, at least. <coughs> yeah, that ball is spotted just I mean, touching the 40, and Raymond's, the top half of his body was laying across, across the 40-yard 40 40. line. And he had the football on his chest. So Brings up, yeah, a third and a, a, about the length of a football. And he the ball is fumbled, it. and now it's going to be fourth and five. Uh, well, you, you have a, you know, a new center out there with Seth Wise having been injured in the first half. So now instead of a first down, the officials marked it about a half yard shy. And on third down, the Indians take a loss of four on a fumble. So it is now going to be fourth down and four. Boy, you know, you just, it's just one of those nights. <laughs> one of those nights. Emmons back to pass. Has a man. Mailer. He's got Mueller, and Mueller topples <laughs> over Kuzel. <laughs> Kuzel. <laughs> and uh, I think if, if Elliot could have got turned <laughs> just a little sooner and saw him, <laughs> I think he'd have been able to keep his feet. <laughs> just, <laughs> when he hit him, I think it just uh, Kuzel didn't tackle him as much as 
got in his Elliot, way. Yeah, yeah. Stumbled over him. <laughs> Ball is spotted just inside the 30. And Elliot Mueller, the 6'6", 265-pound sophomore tight end, has come up with a couple of big catches on some crucial downs here in the third quarter, fourth quarter. Myers, the lone back. And he has the football. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. And he stopped shy of the line of scrimmage. There's that by a defensive, defensive end again. End. Boy, they're everywhere. Tom Bush on the stop. They, uh, I, I'd have to say, Rich, they've made more tackles than the linebackers tonight. Oh. <laughs> they have. They've been everywhere. Strength of their defense without and they're a not, doubt. They're not uh, big no, I said defensive they, ends. Neither one of them even reaches 180 pounds. But they are tough. 170 and 176. They play smart football, too. Myers. Myers forward to about the 27-yard line. No, it was Raymond, maybe. Was it Raymond? Yep, Myers standing in the backfield. I'm sorry. Raymond Martinez carries it. He's Like I said, he's got it to about the 27. That'll bring up a third down and seven. They need to get the ball to the 20-yard line. <clears throat> there is 4.40 left on the clock. Well, Rich, you have to give... Plaudits to Coach Mark Emmons, his coaching his staff, staff yes. and this football team for having one tremendous season. One step away from the league title and and playoffs. Ooh. Garrell slipped, slipped and fell. And they just came in here tonight and ran into a very, very tough and polished Patrick Henry football team. Yeah, uh, Coach Emmons and uh, on his staff, his assistants, John Preck, Ryan O'Dell, Todd Wise, Matt Lane, Chad Burt, Kevin Kreiner, Greg Walker, Bill Green, Joe Allen, Steve Schneider, and Jack Warnke. I mean, uh, this has been a, gr a good season for these guys. Absolutely. And these kids. And we'll go through these seniors. Uh, it's been great to watch these seniors. Emmons has the ball. Looking, looking, scrambling. I don't know if he's going to have enough. He's going to have enough. He's Dives down to about the 12 yard yep, line. He's, he's gonna be he's gonna have the first, first down. down. Aaron Evans on a scramble picks up the first down with 414 left to go in the ball game. <laughs> yeah, why don't you let's read these uh, these seniors. What a tremendous year these young men have given this Wasion football program. Number one, Ray Martinez. Number four, Aaron Emmons. Number nine, Zach Garrow. 21, Jake Unger. 26, Corey DeGroff. We'll get some rest of them here after this play. I formation. First down and 10 at, at about the 16-yard line. Pitch goes to Martinez, looking for running room. Cuts off his block. Cuts Ooh, outside. Nice Got a beautiful make run to the outside. And Raymond is in for the score. Do I see a flag? I don't see one. I don't see a flag. Touchdown. 17 is yards. The signal. Ray Martinez from 17 yards out goes in for the score with 350 left to go in the ball game. It is now 54 to 19. And the Patrick Henry scorekeeper is refusing to put the points on the board, Rich. <laughs> he still hasn't put them up. Well, it's up there they go. Now we got them on the board. So uh, Unger's going to attempt the kick out of the hold of Martinez. A nice-looking run there by Ray. Cut off one block, made a stutter step to the outside, and was gone. Kick is up and good uh, by first Unger. kick is good. So with 3.50 left to go in the game, the score, Patrick Henry 54, Wasion 20. Let's get back to those seniors, Rich. Uh, let's see, we stopped with Corey DeGroff for 31, Robert Shirey. Number 44, Brad Myers. Number 51, Justin Hograve. Number 52, Josh Duncan. 53, Joe Amos. 56, Seth Schroeder. 58, Tony Hansen. Number 60, Jake Garvin. 71, Matt Lance. 72, Tim Burkholder. 81, Dustin Osborne. And number 88, Adam Such. Congratulations, gentlemen, on a tremendous football season. The Indians are going to finish this season at 7-3. and three. Their three losses to Napoleon, who tonight, just tonight, will pick up their second loss and will be going to the state playoffs. 
to the Liberty Center Tigers, who will go 9-1 and one and go to the state playoffs, and to the Patrick Henry Patriots, number who will go 10-0 and, and number one in the state, and go to the state playoffs. So their three losses were to teams with a combined three losses between yeah. them, and uh, all three of which are going to go to the playoffs. So a tremendous season for the Indians. They are to be congratulated on an outstanding year. Myers is going to kick it off from the 40. And he kicks a squib kick. That's going to be picked up by a young Patriot. I think it's 24. We'll have to wait till they unpile it. He gets the ball out to about the 34-yard line. Reese was the fielded that kick and the Indians bring in the second team D. So we're gonna have different numbers out there. Yep. And this is gonna be fun. We'll try to we'll try to get everybody we got five, mentioned here quick. Colin Price, number five <laughs> out there. Six. Matt Bost. Number twenty. Uh Ryan Huner's out there. Sixty five or fifty five. And the Patriots have the second unit offense out there. And I, he fumbled. fumbled the snap, I think, and he fell on it. That's number 19, T.J. Taylor, at quarterback for the Patriots. <coughs> the six, number 64 five, is out there, 64 for Wesson. Alex Emmons. 55 is out there. That's uh, Frank Bum. Number 81 is uh, Dustin Osborne. Did you get 78 out there, Rich? 78. No. Justin Rodriguez is out there, sophomore. Pitch, pitch goes back and oh, Ooh. he slips down. He had been tackled out there anyway. Frank Bum was coming at him like a freight train, and he slipped and fell down. Might have been a good thing. <laughs> My, that would have been a whoa, tremendous collision. That would have been a collision. That yep. would have been a collision. The ball is spotted at the 29-yard line. That will bring up a third and 15 or third and 14. Stuart England was out there. He just coming off. And we covered everybody yet. Third and 14. Running with the football number nine, Greg Berkstead. And 32. He's met and dropped out there. Jared by Marks. Jared Marks. That's going to bring up fourth and 14. There's 221 left in the ball game. Let's see if the Indians' second team offense will get the football. Let's see if they could put some points on the board. Punt formation. Well, the Pats uh, first <laughs> punt of the evening, isn't it? <laughs> I think it is. No, they had to punt on their first possession, Rich. The kick is away. It's a it's an end over end kick that's gonna roll down to the thirty six yard line of Ryan, Wasion. Ryan Huner made the right choice and yep. got out of the way of that. Yep, he did. So with 150 left to go in the contest. The uh, Indians with the football. Let's see if the second team O can get a score on the board here in the last two minutes. 